Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed of the constant influx of emails that come in your way every day, every hour, every minute? So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the tactics that I use to keep my inbox at zero all the time. And I'm gonna show you some of the apps that also help me out in achieving those goals. So let me show you and let's start right now. So my first tip is to have a single folder in your inbox. For me, it's the inbox folder. Everything goes in there. I don't have multiple folders where emails go into that folder depending on what it is or what category is or maybe a specific rule in my inbox. So if it comes from this person, put it in the folder. No, I have a single folder where everything goes and that's the inbox. That helps me out sorting all the emails. So let me show you. So you can see here, like in my inbox, that I have all emails in one place. In here in my folders, I don't have multiple folders, just the basic ones that Outlook comes with, but everything goes into my inbox. There's no rules, there's no categorization, uh, uh, and there's nothing in my way just to view the emails and then start sorting them out right away. The second tip that I have for you is that unsubscribe from all newsletters. I don't have newsletters coming into my inbox. It's just clutter and maybe I don't even have the time to read those newsletters when I'm sorting through my email, like in the mornings and like I do. So I don't have any newsletters in there. Instead, what I use is an app called Reader. That app allows me to have a specific custom email where I can get all my newsletters to. So let me show you now. So here now, if I go through my inbox, you can see that I have some specific items but let's see here that I have some newsletters. There you go, here is a newsletter that is coming in. Everything that I see in here, right? I cannot, I don't have the time sometimes just to go through all of this information. So I just unsubscribe from all those newsletters right there. Just click and it will go ahead and not subscribe me. So after I do that, then I can come in here and I can go into my reader and in my, this app allows me to group all of my feeds and all of my inbox that it's coming like RS and newsletters too. It allows me to put it in this app. It's, they also have a mobile app, so I can read that information there also on my mobile, maybe when I'm in the toilet, right? Then if I go here and I click on add a new option, a new, a new import, so you can see that I have this email that is customized from Readwise. Then I subscribe to all of my newsletters with this email. What happens is that when the newsletter comes in, then that newsletter will go into this app that I can read it then later on when I have the time to read it. But this way, it unclutters out of my inbox uh, uh, in my email. So I don't have to see those newsletters again. The third tip is to set aside a time every day to look at your inbox. For me, for example, it's the early morning. That's the first thing that I do when I get to work or even when I wake up, look at the emails and start going through them. But always set a time at, this, at the same I schedule every day. So if it is at 9 a.m., then every day at 9 a.m., look at your inbox. This will help you out sorting out those emails uh, right away and in, and in a schedule matter. The fourth tip is to delete everything in your inbox that is not useful and that you don't need it in the future. Just delete it because probably you won't need it and that will unclutter right away your inbox. So let's go ahead and see how I do this every day. So let's now, uh, let's see how, what can I start deleting? Like for example here, this is a president sale, they sell, I don't need it. This is an alert and I don't need this alert. It just came out. This is also an alert, I don't need it. A daily summary, I don't need it. This also I don't need, a suggestion, I don't need it. This is that newsletter, so I don't need it anymore because maybe I have it in reader. Also more information, an alert, I don't need this anymore passion into your account, take care of your channel health. Maybe I, I need that, so maybe then I'm gonna leave it there. This one I can delete, I can also delete this one, this one, and perfect. So that's it. Now I deleted everything that I don't need in my inbox so I can get it away from there. The fifth tip that I have is to archive things that you think you're gonna need in the future. Things that maybe you want to search for them down the road and that maybe you might require them, but you just need them out of your inbox, right? You don't need it to read it anymore. You know what it is. You just want to archive it in case you need it in the future. So let me show you how I do this. So I'm gonna go to my inbox now and I see that this one, how to take care of my channel health, it's something that I might need in the future. I just don't want to delete it. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to archive this item. And for archiving, what I do is that I click on the backspace in my keyboard and that will go into the archive folder right away. Now, everything that I have in my inbox at this point is something that I need, that I need to take care of somehow. 
So let's see how I do that. The next tip now is that I'm going to go through all of my emails and see what needs my attention and what I can reply within five minutes. Five minutes mean it doesn't take a lot of my time. I can reply it right away and I can delete that email from my inbox or I can archive it right away. So anything that I can reply in five minutes, I will take care of it right away. So let's see how that looks like. So I have an email here from Jim. Jim Halper is saying that he wants a collaboration opportunity with my channel. And he says that he wants to sell his high quality paper to my YouTubers. So he's waiting for a quote from me. So this is gonna take me more than five minutes. So I won't reply to this email right away because I need to create a quote for Jim so he can sell his paper. So for people that is still use pencils to write, so maybe that can work out. And I have an email here from and Dimitrio, he's asking a question, do you have a sponsorship availability in July? You see, this one, I can reply right away. It's just five minutes. I know that I have availability, so I'm going just to reply to the Demetrio and say, hi, Demetrio. There you go, let's see. Yes, I do have availability. Let me know how I can help. And how I can help. There you go, thanks. Jose. Now I have replied to this one, so I don't need it in my inbox anymore. So what I'm gonna do is click on backspace, basically to archive that email, because I replied to it, I don't need it anymore, and it goes away from my inbox. Now I have to focus on the other emails. So now my next step is to go ahead and put everything that requires more than five minutes to reply, to put it in your task management software. And this is why because if you put it on your task management, then it is there in your list of to-do. So now if you put it in there, you can actually get or get rid of that email from your inbox because you're gonna take care of it later on. And it might not be today because maybe you need to wait on another person to get that information and to reply to that person. So maybe you can put it in there and with all of your to-do list, then you can prioritize what's going first like do i need really to reply to this email now or can i do this to do this to do item first because it has a, a bigger urgency than replying to this email then you can prioritize your to do and you can prioritize your email so let's see how that looks like for example here so what i can do now is for example i can put this into my task management software so what I use in, 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 in my work is that I do I use Todoist and I'm gonna explain why I use Todoist and not Microsoft to do when I use Outlook. I have a reason for it. I'm just waiting for an integration to be ready. But I would suggest that you use Microsoft to do because it's already integrated into Outlook. So you can manage all of those tags in, in one place. So this is really nice in Outlook. I need to create this code for Jim, right? So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna right click on this email. I'm gonna click on follow up and I'm gonna say, maybe I need to follow up with it today or tomorrow. So let's set it for today and let's see what happens. So once I flag this, that it needs to be follow up. If I go to my Microsoft to do here, okay. It's gonna show up and it's gonna load up my to do here and I'm gonna come to flag email. In flag email, you're gonna see that that email now shows up in here as a to do. If I open that, I even have the email in here where I can see it and I can open it right away in Outlook if I need it to. But now it's, my, it's in my to-do list. I no longer need it in my inbox. So if I go here to my email, I can just click here and archive it now because I don't need it to be there because I'm going to reply to that email later on. If I go here, I can see it here still. And if I click on open on Outlook, what it's gonna do is that it's gonna open up that email even that, though that it is on archive. Because now, when I'm ready to reply, I just reply right from here. Even though it is in archive, it comes back right in there. But for now, my inbox is completely clear. Now I don't have anything in my inbox and I have reached out to inbox zero. Now remember, you're gonna have all of those to do that you're gonna have in your task management software that you're gonna have to prioritize and see what needs your attention, what is urgent, what is not urgent. But now instead of having all those emails in your inbox that you don't know what needs your attention or what to reply first, now you have a to-do list that you can manage. 
and even more, you can delete those emails. So maybe you can delegate that to another person in your team or another creator or another assistant, for example, that can help you out replying to that email. So that's the nice thing about having a to-do list. So in my case, for example, some of those emails would go into my not to-do, which I say I use to-do is for now, but I would for sure use Microsoft to-do, which works perfectly fine, or any other tax management software would work out. But if I need to put that email because someone in my team needs to work on it, then I would create that task in my click in ClickUp, which is the application and the task management software that we use for our team. So I would put it in there then so I can delegate that to a, a, another person or maybe we can collaborate on how to, we can create that. We can create a, that response. So for example, that collaboration with Gene, maybe I can include my salesperson or, or an assistant to help me out creating that quote for Gene. So then they create the quote for me and also the quote is ready then i can reply to jim and send it over so that's how i can collaborate and managing those tasks then the other tip that i have is what do i do with the emails that i need to follow up later on let's say i, I send an email to someone but i need to follow up with that person later on that something hasn't been done or i haven't received a reply so for those cases what i do is that i create that follow-up also in my to-do I don't deal with the email. Emails is not good for following up. I just put that to do and put when I want that to do to resurface into my to do inbox. So let me show you how I do that. So I'm going to go now here to my to do. Remember, I need to wait for a, a quote to be created here for Jim. Maybe I send this to my assistant so they can help me out creating that quote. So what I need to do is follow up with her to make sure that maybe a specific time and doesn't go away when creating that quote. Even though I can do that from here, from Microsoft to do and set a deadline for her on how to do it, but maybe I wanna create a follow-up for me, for myself. So what I, what I can do is just basically create a task. So let's go ahead here and I can say, follow with Jane about creating that quote. And then I just add it in there. And then here, let's put a when it should remind me. And then I can say maybe next week. And when it's gonna be due, next week. There you go. So now that will pop up as a to-do in my list, in my inbox, or send me a reminder when I need to follow up with that person. Now I don't need to have that email anymore in my inbox, so I can follow up later on, no, not need it. I put it in my to-do and then from there on the right time, on the right date, it's gonna surface and I can reply back then to maybe to Jane to follow up with her regarding that email. The final tip that I'm gonna show you is an app that I use called Sonsama that helps me out in sorting out that task management and to reach my inbox zero besides helping me out with a number of things. So let me show you. So Sonsama is this app that allows me and helps me out planning my day and my week with the tasks that I need to do on a specific day or on a specific week. Those, these tasks, and the nice thing about Sonsama is that it integrates with Outlook and integrates with Todoist, for example, and integrates with ClickUp. So what happens is that I can bring those tasks, those tasks that I have from those apps, and those tasks, I can bring them from to this app now, and then I can sort through them, and I can manage when I'm going to do those tasks. But one of the nice things about Sonsama is that it connects to Microsoft Outlook or Gmail too, it works. And it brings out those emails too, and then I can use those emails as tasks here in Sonsama. So for example, let's say I have an email here. Let's say that I need to renew an SSL certificate, for example. If I open up, then it's gonna show me the actual email from Outlook and what is the information in there. Then when I create, it creates this task for me automatically here in Sonsama. And when I'm done, let's say renewing the SSL certificate, I can simply just check it off from here. And when I check off this task in Sonsama, what's gonna happen in Outlook is that it's gonna archive automatically that email for me. So this is basically automating that manual process of creating that task in Microsoft to do, and then I follow up and reply to that email, and then that email just gets archived. Now on Sama, when I reply to that email, and just check, I just need to check this box there, and it will automatically archive that from my inbox and get it right off from there. The same thing will happen with my task from to do is I see it in here, when I complete it, I just I check it off, and it will check it off from my to do is. 
It's like having one place when I have everything there and then I can do my planning. This is a very nice app. They have a subscription plan right now, it's 20 bucks per month. It basically it helps me out a lot with my planning, specifically when I receive a lot of emails and it helps out figuring out. And just that fact that I just click on that checkbox and it automatically archives that email from Outlook, it really saves me a lot and helps me keep that inbox zero on my Outlook. So thanks again for staying until the end and hopefully you learned something today that will help you out in your daily productivity. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you can keep getting more videos and more interesting things that can help you out in your daily work life.